year what's going on everybody it's your boy ipod king carter here we are going to be moving along in my nba reign very very quickly in this video this is season four of the playoffs i just wanted to let you guys know that i beat the new york knicks in round one but i took a terrible loss to the toronto raptors in round two it's okay man this is the things that happen in the nba i am with the philadelphia 76ers so it is a tough road now in season five we did amazing in the nba but check this out you guys had a good run, but it's all getting ready to come to an end. Only thing coming to an end is your season, a few short games from now. Nah, nah, nah. This here is the playoffs. Crowd's a little louder, stakes a little higher, and the losses is a little harder to swallow. Get ready, because you about to swallow that first loss tonight. Yo, talk is cheap, and I'm going to do all my talking on the court with my game. I hope you're ready. All right, so with all the trash talking in the world that Paul George can do, the Philadelphia 76ers is about to come in and just dominate this team. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it away here with this little cutscene. Look, we put Paul George and them in a 4-1 situation, and we came out on top. But I will let you guys know that we had to meet the Cleveland Cavaliers and trust and believe things got ugly fast now with lebron james let alone being on the team they still have their core guys they still got kyrie irving they still have kevin love and me and the philadelphia 76ers just couldn't come out and do what we had to do but i will let you guys know that we did beat the washington wizards in round two so we did make it to the eastern conference finals in season five but we couldn't come out with that title and we couldn't take our talents to the NBA Finals. It's all good, man. Cleveland deserves to go to the Finals, but I don't think that they deserve to win the ring just yet. But uh, we did take that one-point loss. It was a tough loss. But uh, moving into Season 6, we're going to see some nice little cutscenes here because guess what? They're treating me like a rookie all over again. <laughs> nah, nah, what I'm saying is it's only a matter of time for my name is up in the conversation. We talking MVP player? Yeah. Oh, hey, hold up, hold up. Now, you know what? I got to holler at you later. I got to bounce. Peace. Thank you. I told you we have business to discuss. All right, man. Let's do it. All right. We got to figure out which teams are going to be lucky enough to be in the bidding for your services. Take a look at this. Tell me which teams top your list, and I'll start making calls. I do want to stay a Philadelphia 76er. I want to see if I can actually win it all on a simulation station. Let's see what happens. Excellent choice. Congratulations. You are now a 100% bona fide NBA star. One of the best players on the planet and about to get paid like one. Hey, shoot, you about to get paid too. <laughs> Amen to that. I'll call and get that contract into your hands as quick as possible. Make right? sure you get on it because the quicker I sign, the quicker we both get paid. <laughs> call from the car. Congrats again. You've earned everything. Adios. You owe me a shark tank. Don't know you. All right, so in this playoff run, Detroit has made it back to the playoffs. They are now a playoff team, a top contender. Even though they were eighth seed, it's okay. It's all right. It's good to be back for them, I guess. But I do have a little bit of update for you guys. Toronto, the team that put me out of the playoffs in my first year as a Sixer, is back in round two. And guess what? It's time for them to hold that L. We're a much better team, much better chemistry, and we're going to come on and try to get this win. Now, I don't know if anybody noticed, but I am currently wearing number 12. Yeah, that Evan Turner number. Ugh. But the only reason that I'm wearing that number is because I feel like it's time for me to retire, and I actually want to retire with a number that's actually going to be put in the stands because yeah the number 15 is already retired yeah about that but uh i just wanted to let you guys know that i beat toronto like i said i was going to do held them to that l and now i'm going up against lebron james and the cleveland cavaliers and the series is currently two to three they won three games straight but now that we are back in cleveland i'm just going to let y'all know we held that l something fierce and i was not able to make it to the next round to the nba finals and just to show you guys some stats that's what happened so now we are in season seven and guess what it is time for ipod king carter to retire i did not win a ring with the philadelphia 76ers but there's always nba 2k16 right yeah i think i think it's best that i actually win one in nba 2k16 and show you guys some crazy gameplay at the point guard position but hey 
Note there are a lot of people here for the Elgato HD60 giveaway. I will announce the winner after this Hall of Fame speech, but please not skip this portion and make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's get it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It's a real honor to be here today in the company of so many people that have helped shape my career and made me who I am today. I never would have dreamed so many years ago when I began my first season in the NBA that one day I'd be standing here, about to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. I know I'm supposed to keep this short, but there are a few things that I really want to say while I have the opportunity. To begin with, I made concerted efforts in my entire career to be more than just a great scorer. I felt like I had the complete package, and it's important to me to show that I could rebound, defend, and pass the ball with the very best of them. It takes a certain mentality to be truly dominant, and I feel like I was born with the will to win and a hunger for competition that was unmatched by any of my contemporaries. The only way to really prove something like that, though, is to win a title. Without a ring, it wouldn't feel right laying claim to the greatest of all time label, but as an NBA champion, I don't have any hesitation in saying that I belong in that discussion. All the awards and accolades are one thing, but if you can't say you took down every last competitor and held up that trophy at least once, at the end of the day, you simply weren't good enough. I'm proud of my legacy, and I don't have any shame in admitting that. I hope that, if nothing else, my career was at least entertaining for all of y'all, and if not, I want you to know that it was always entertaining for me. And finally, I couldn't come here without acknowledging what a true pleasure it was to play with some of the great players along the way. Not only did I have some pretty amazing teammates, but I made some lifelong friends with some of my biggest rivals also. Guys like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Anthony Davis. I know you all are out there, and it means the world to me to know that I have your support. And last but not least, Coach, Coach, I know you're out there too. You were like a second father to me in many ways. You helped shape my career from early on. And you were instrumental in turning me into the basketball player I became. So thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. And then closing, I'd also like to thank all the fans. You all made this journey what it is and your love and your support over the years has helped me get to this point today. I had plenty of assists in my career, but none of them were as big as what you gave back to me. I wouldn't have made it to the Hall of Fame without you all. So thank you once again. Thank you, everybody. Peace. And with that being said, David Ipod King Carter is done for NBA 2K15. As well as, I want to give a big shout out to the winner of the Elgato HD60 giveaway. Congrats.